Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Christine. Christine, your farmer, whom you're farming with pre for previous days, for previous weeks, for previous months, and we are still farming. Welcome to my channel. Today, I have this beautiful banana, and this is the mother plant of this banana. This banana is very tasty is very nice and i'm doing a lot of farming for these things because i told you from the beginning the reason why i had to start farming many of the fruits the vegetables we were importing them 180 kilometers 200 kilometers away from the northern part of this country uganda so i decided to do this farming to cut short of all the transport costs for my kids my family fruits and veggies and a few friends who can decide to like buy from me these fruits. When I started this farming, previously I showed you a few crops you can farm and get some money quickly, some food on the table very fast. Today I'm standing under an annual crop. It takes longer to grow. We are farming in semi-arid areas. People who come to me at the farm here physically they have been like, Christine, how are you doing this? And I've been teaching them, I've been talking to them, showing them how we are doing this effectively. Some of them had one excuse. The dry spell can be so dry that we don't have water to irrigate our crops. But today I've come to show you some of the ways, sustainable ways of making your crop, your banana, to survive the dry spell. Here I am. I have two jerry cans. These jerry cans you've seen, one is already cut, then another one is not cut. The one which is cut here, I cut this jerry can following this kind of a, a square formula which I created for myself. I created this formula to enable me to store some water. We are doing this in a, a basic way, a humble way you can do your farming and still you harvest and still put food on the table. So this jerry can, we cut it from this corner here, all around like this, we cut the square and we remove the whole of it. When we remove the square, we make it like this. This is one of the jerry cans I've been using for almost a year. And this jerry can has really served, has helped to store water to run the daily activities of the farm, especially the matoki. When it's a morning, it's a new day, we always collect this water. How? After people or kids or whatever is at home here, after washing utensils, the water that we use to rinse, to rinse utensils, we keep that water. It can be like three, four, five cups. Those are like two liters and a half or three liters water for rinsing utensils. We keep that water. Then in the course of the day, for example, if breakfast they are going to have Irish, the water for washing this Irish, we always use that water and pack it in the jerry can. Lunch time, whatever they have decided to eat, if they are going to eat meat or beans or chicken, they can do their washing of whatever they are going to cook. They pack that water. So in the evening, at the end of the day, we are now talking of the real dry spell, how we are surviving, how we are managing to keep this kind of an annual crop. At the end of the day, we already have some water. It can make even two jerry cans in a day. So we always bring that water in this jerry can, which we always use to pack this water. I already have some in the jerry can. I've been washing some Irish for my kids' supper. So we bring this water in the garden here. And we pour it randomly just around the matoki. So, this banana here 
it will continue getting this water to keep it. It's a sustaining dose for the dry spell. And it will keep this plant going. So these issues of saying again, water can be a problem in the dry spell, where will we get the water? We are giving the best solutions to manage this crop here, this plant here. And indeed, you're going to manage it because I've done it. I have several of these jerry cans and they are doing the job for me. At the end of the day, we find ourselves we have two to three jerry cans in a day. So those two to three jerry cans we can give to this. We give to another one here. We give to another one the other side. So we really have several of them. There are around 25 of them. They are all for the banana I've shown you. And suddenly I'm seeing people picking the interest, are picking up in whatever I'm doing. People are admiring the activities we are doing. It's a semi-arid area, but we are managing even to keep annual crops of this kind. I want to thank you, my viewers out there. Thank you for viewing my videos. Many of you have given me names, the path that leads you to the smiling destination. Because, you know, for us here, we deal with smiling, smiling faces. Because a hungry person is an angry one. So we don't want to see people who are angry. So we create a lot of smiles by providing food, putting food on the table. I have a few friends who are calling me the principal farmer. I have a few friends who are calling me the real life coach. Because they are seeing I'm giving simple, basic knowledge. But things are happening. Things are working. So thank you, my fellow farmers out there. Keep up the spirit. We shall farm. I pray you have a beautiful day, a beautiful evening. Till we meet again, those who are coming to the farm physically, continue coming, let's farm. Let's put food on the table. Thank you. God bless you.